What if the shot doesn't have any white object in the frame to white balance it? Coming up. It's Habib with another awesome video from YouTube.xyz. The thing I really love about you guys and I appreciate you for as a community in that fact that I can ask you guys what should I do for my next video. Leave me a comment down below. You guys actually did. And it makes me so happy and it makes my life so easier when I'm feeling uninspired. So I just want to say thank you. With that side, I got a comment asking me what if the shot doesn't have any white object. I mean in overall, you don't have any reference to white blunts your shot. Actually, I can't pronounce her or his name who dropped the comment. So today in this video, we will going to find out how we can white blunts a shot without any reference using the parrots and primary bars. So let's find out. So let's take a look to this footage. As we can see, the shot is not white balance perfectly. So the question is here, how we can get perfect white balance while we don't have any reference in our shot, actually a white object on the frame. So let's do it. First, we need to check the skin tone color. Is it perfect or aligned with the skin indicator or not? Okay, to do this, create a new node and get the mask pen to draw and get sample of the skin like the same as you can see it right now after this turn on the highlight to see the skin area only we need to check it on vector scope as well and let's turn to vector scope to see the result oops as you can see the skin tone is not perfectly aligned with the skin indicator line so we need to fix this by white balancing our shot. Okay, now get back to the notes and create a note before this note and turn off the reference skin tone mask note and we need this after our white balancing our shot for the reference as well. As I mentioned before, now we can adjust the shot white balance manually at the primary bar. So let's get into primary bar tabs and turn on the period scope as well to see the RGB channels. As I have the idea of this shot colors during the shooting, so we will bring the red gamma channel a little bit up to get the pure red in the scene. To get the same red on the character wardrobe. Boom! You can see how the shot is getting better now. Well, you can see we have a blue cost in the shot, so let's down a little bit the blue channel from a gamma as well. And there we are with the nice and white blonde shot in the result. So at the last but not least, let's check the skin tool once again. Is it perfectly aligned with the skin tool indicator line or not? Boom, it's perfectly aligned now. Well, once again, I should mention there is lots of way to get a shot white blonde perfectly and this was the easiest way as per my experience if you have any comment or suggestion write down below in the comment section and i'm gonna ask you guys which method you like to get a perfect white balance without any reference in your shot i mean you don't have any white object in your shot and how you can get the short white balance perfectly so with that said peace i hope you guys find out this video helpful for more video like this, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel and turn on the notification bell to receive the latest video notification in you first. And if you have any question, write down in the below comment section. I will definitely respond to it. So with that said, stay creative and stay safe.